The man convicted of aggravated assault in the death of bodyboarder Brian Cruz is asking the court to allow him to remain free. PNC's Jolene Tovis has more. J.C. White was convicted of aggravated assault in November 2017. Two months later, he was sentenced to serve 36 months in prison. That prison sentence was not immediately imposed. Instead, he was given time to get his affairs in order. Superior Court Judge Michael Berdalia ordered that he self-surrender today by 6 p.m. However, White's attorney has filed a motion for bail pending appeal. This means that if the court grants the motion, White will not have to self-surrender to the Department of Corrections as previously ordered. While it is unclear whether or not the court has granted the motion, what is clear is the government's opposition to its continued release. In the people's opposition, it cites that although White has complied with all conditions of his pre-trial release, analysis of bail on appeal does not end on that compliance. The government further argues that the motion cannot be applied in White's case, stating that the statute does not apply because White has already been sentence. According to the opposition, quote, Mr. White's sentence has been imposed. Therefore, for purposes of whether 8 GCA 40.85 applies in this case, the issue becomes whether he is awaiting the final determination on appeal. This has not been fulfilled either, end quote. According to the government, they have not received a notice of appeal from White and are not aware of one being filed. But even if the court determines that White is pending imposition of his sentence or that he is waiting final determination on appeal, the government states that the motion must still fail, as no grounds have been stated relative to the basis of the appeal. The government says that the court must determine whether, quote, it appears that an appeal is frivolous or taken for delay. The person may be ordered detained, end quote. But without further information, the government adds that the court cannot make the determination nor can the government or the court speculate as to whether White will file an appeal or on what grounds it may be based. The government is requesting that White serve the maximum sentence the court has ordered. For White, that is 36 months out of the three-year sentence imposed. Reporting for PNC News, I'm Jolene Toves.